Welcome back, friends and pizza fanatics. My name is Lisa DeMauro, and I am joined by my husband, Chris. And today, we have a very special guest with us here in our studio. We have the longest-serving mayor here in the city of Springfield, Mayor Dominic Sarno. That's right, Lisa. Mayor Dominic Sarno has just entered his sixth term here in the city of Springfield. He's a proud Italian-American of first generation, and he's been called the best mayor in the country by Jim Murren, the former CEO of MGM Resorts International. Mayor Sarno, welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you, and I want to thank you both of you for what you do to promote. We have fantastic pizza here in the city of Springfield and uh, uh, Western Mass. And really, uh, when you told me that we don't even have any type of designation of having great pizza, I said, no, I'm gonna come on the show and support you in this endeavor. And I know that we have some uh, pizza shops that are very near and dear to my heart uh, that we're gonna speak about uh, today and, and uh, in the next segment. Uh, but it's great to be here. And we have fantastic pizza. Thank you for pulling me. Come on, are you kidding me, Mayor? You are our first celebrity guest here on the podcast. So we're, we're, we're like, we're static. We've yes. been waiting for this for a long time. Bottom of the barrel, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you said it right in the intro. We do have a very special type of pizza here. And um, I started looking up regional pizza styles about a year and a half ago. And do you know there are 26 different regional styles that are represented, like on YouTube, and Western Mass and Springfield's not there. Yeah, when you told me that, Chris and Lisa, I found that hard to believe uh, because, uh, you know, maybe I'm being biased, but I feel that uh, we're a mecca when you have a lot of the pizza makers here and I, some of the pizzerias that you have now, many emanated from Bregliano, Italy, the province of Salerno, where my parents came from, and uh, many of the pizza makers came from there, and y you name it, all different styles of pizza are being made, and you have establishments that have been around for a long, long time, and I, I know one of the questions you had mentioned about, uh, do you remember your first pizza shop when I was a kid? Yes. And it was my Uncle Albert Calvinis, okay. you know, who had Super Pizzeria, on the corner of Boston Road and Parker Street, where the Walgreens was. This is in the late 60s, early 70s. He taught a lot of the uh, uh, now pizza makers how to make pizza. And I remember being there as a kid with my, my uh, grandfather, my papa, on my mother's side there. So he had Super Pizzeria. And that was the, so I was probably six, seven years old. That was the first uh, pizza shop. And it was on the corner of Parker and Boston Road, where Walgreens is now. But he taught many of the pizza makers how to make uh, pizza. Well, Mayor Sarno was just saying that. Is it Super Pizza? It was called Super Pizzeria. Okay. Super that sounds pizza. like a super way to start your, like uh, your pizza career there. And, uh, <laughs> and it was your uncle? It was my uncle, Albert Calvin. He's God rest his soul, my, my uh, mother's uh, brother. Okay. And uh, late 60s, early 70s. And so I had to be about six, seven years old. And he taught a lot of the future pizza makers how to make pizza. Okay. But I always remember as a kid going there, and I'll always give you, you know, some of the pepperoni. And yes. Stuff. Did yeah. you get to sit on the Bay Marine and take the pepperonis yeah, right out of the know, thing? And it was just, it was <laughs> glorious. It was a glorious time. Glorious time. You know, that's one of the things. Uh, life has changed. You know, life moves pretty fast here in 2024. And pizza brings people together. It and it makes us nostalgic. And I yes. love hearing these stories of yeah. your youth with your uncle learning how to make. Did, you get, did he teach you how to make pizza? I never got in, involved in that. I liked eating the pizza. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like I me. I liked eating the pizza. <laughs> What what neighborhood did you grow up? Did you grow up here in Springfield? Yeah, Springfield, born, bred, and proud, and mainly in the, uh, really a Forest Park area. I've always been in the Forest Park. Area. Okay, you're from the park, as yes, we like to Forest say. Park, yes. And um, I think that one of the pizza places that we're going to be enjoying today is actually from the Forest Park neighborhood, Family Pizza Europa. Family Pizza yes. is what you would call our cheers, and the Bonfiglio family and no I, kidding. Are, my family, go way, way back. Uh, uh, the matriarch, Yolanda, God rest her soul, she had passed. And my mom were dear, dear friends in okay. the old country in Bregliano. And uh, Janad, Jerry Bonfiglio, and I grew up with his, grew up with his daughters like family. Um, he first started, he was working at Smith & Wesson, and he started a little bakery on the corner of Lansing Place and Dickinson Street. And he made great bread. And I remember we lived on Lower Dickinson Street. And my mother and father would always say, yeah, Johnny's Fruit Stand, Johnny Adonato, and, and they had the sausage place. And Janata, they'd say, go, uh, go be a bond, go get the bread. And I have to walk down and get the bread, and uh, I have to get two loaves, because by the time I walked <laughs> home, I ate half, you already got I already <laughs> ate half the loaf. So then he ventured out and uh, put pizza in there. Okay. It was a little corner shop. 
And then it was Sunter's Drugstore was next door. He eventually bought that, and that became the family pizza restaurant. And now he's up there on Sumner Avenue, and uh, I, I have, like, constituent service office uh, hours there because I'm, I'm fri- I'm <laughs> That's Friday. That's where you find you there, right? Friday <laughs> nights where I'm, I'm usually there with my wife, Carla, my daughters, Cassandra, and Kiara, and cousin cousin Al and uh, dear friends, my, my staff, Tommy. So we... That's that's always been our. It's our, a neighborhood that's place. Always Are been you our saying cheers. everyone knows your name there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's always been Springfield our, Cheers, and they've been in business for uh, fifty. Yeah, years. over fifty years, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Years, so. we, we did an episode with Ralphie up yeah. there uh, Ralphie about a year and ago. Ralphie little Yolanda doing. And little Yolanda. Yes. Yes. Yolanda and I have the same birthday, so we, we have do. a good connection. You know, one twenty-seven. And uh, I always say when you see Janad, the old school, you always, the hug and the. And the two kisses there, and I go, and for his, he looks great. I go, Janad, you look good, and you smell good, too. You know, when he, when his aftershave, and he Beautiful. Loves that. That's that just, pizza that, life. That is truly when you say about a familia, family. Yes. You're always going to feel welcome there, and uh, they've been well-respected and make a great, great uh, uh, pizza. They have a, what we would call a traditional Springfield pizza. Yes, they do. And the, all of the pizzas that are coming today, we tried to, we did a little bit of research. We found out some of your favorite uh, toppings. So we tried to get every pizza the way you like it, Mayor Sarno. Okay. Okay. Uh, but what I really liked about what you were sharing was just some of this old world connection yeah. that you have from Bragliano and all of the different, because a lot of folks here, if you're watching from outside of Springfield, our Italian population, many of us come from the Bragliano area. Yeah, the- uh, I actually, my, my, our side comes from Sicily, but yeah. a lot of folks here from, uh, from Springfield are actually from that Sicilian, area. Sicilian, when you talk about Sicilian pizza, too, my, my cousin Patsy Izzo, when he had the pizza shops, he used to make a Sicilian, the pan pizza, mm. which, was, which was excellent on that. But Brigiliano is probably a paese of maybe five to 6,000 people in Italy. Okay. Here, we probably have in Springfield surrounding area 13 to 15,000 Brigiliano. No kidding. Here, and uh, many uh, have uh, pizzerias. Many still have businesses in the South End with uh, Italian American enclave uh, that has a lot of still Italian American businesses. But when you look upon it, uh, and with my parents, uh, 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 Al and, and Claire, Al, Al the barber was a barber, my mother was a, a seamstress, and, and uh, you know, they had their own businesses. They never could finish formal education, but they always stressed to my, my uh, sister, younger sister, and brother, you got to go to school, school, school. But many of the people that came over, my parents' age, they survived many times having to hide underground during the Nazi occupation, World War II. My father came over right after World War II, was in Six Corners uh, area, and so he was either 9 or 11 years old. I think it was in 48 or so, 47. Okay. And my mom came over after her mom passed there, and uh, most of the family was here, uh, uh, you know, because it was difficult those times if you wanted to. I can to imagine. Right to, uh, America and President Kennedy had relaxed the immigration embargo at the time, so she was in the on William Street in the South End. But from that, so many businesses, especially restaurants and pizzerias, have emanated from Bregliano. I know yes. there's other sections in that area of, of Italy too, but many Bregliano's have restaurants and pizzerias here, right in the city of Springfield quite established too. I know we're going to speak about a number of other ones too. No, absolutely. The, well, you had mentioned about being bakers, right? right. It was, yeah. it was the original. Most so, started as bread so makers. I think, I think a lot of these yeah. were bread makers that came over e- from Italy. Is exact, that right, Mayor? Exactly. And, uh, so, you know, when you were there, you, you I know my, my, uh, Nani, my, uh, grandparents on my father's side, they used to make, uh, uh, the homemade pizza with the dough and then they, Maybe put the little Bosnian gall on there, a little sauce, you mm. know, and a little. They cut, you know, they would cut up a little with super sad or little, this. And it, it, oh my! God, nothing it, like it, right? It was nothing like it. Nothing like it. That was going to be one of my questions. If we could visit a restaurant that's no longer there, but I bet you that would be a pizza you'd like to have. Your naughty. Yeah, pizza. but I, if you said a restaurant that's no longer there, and it was mainly, it was more of a, a restaurant. Uh, the old original Ciro's restaurant in the South End. The old Ciro's. The old, the old Ciro's was legendary. You had people that came from, you know, you're nodding your head on it, Mom. Oh, my uh, gosh. You had people that came from all the way from New York. Yes. To come to the Chabelli family. So, and I remember going with my mom and dad and my uh, sister at the time. And uh, it's funny because that would probably be one of the only restaurants you go out because say you have good food at home and 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 a funny analogy here is that when you go out to restaurants you go to eat now we came from southern italy so that we ate peasant food what was called peasant food 
So now you go out to restaurants. It's gourmet food. It's right. food that we ate on. Pasta bazool, pasta banana, pasta bazil, the chibot, frita, all these things there. Pasta fagoli yeah, and, yeah. Uh, or so, sausage fagoli so is the same thing. People rave about it. And I, I said in the old days that was considered yeah. peasant food on it. So, uh, But, yeah, if you're saying on a restaurant, I remember as a kid, the old original Ciro's was, was legendary. We actually legendary. found a picture of it. Um, the, the folks from the new Ciro sent me a photo of yeah, it on, the, yeah. on uh, my phone. And it, 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 I, re, I remember it being there. There's no windows on the outside. That's right. And, uh, That's what was right. Their, was, were they famous for the chicken tortellini? They made, but they also made a, a great, uh, everything they made was great. Though, but I always remember my father loved the, uh, whether the veal or uh, a nice steak with the broccoli rabe. Oh, yeah. And, mm. uh, or, or beef marsala. Uh, getting hungry. Every, everything they made there was, was but that was a, a legendary place, and I and people, I mean, they literally came from New York uh, to come down to the original Ciro's on Main Street, right across from where you, La Florentina is. Okay, yeah, exactly. Which is another great, that's another Bridget and A's family. Nobody makes, I know we're talking about pizza, but nobody makes a better Shrito. Oh, or really? 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 La Florentina. I don't... But, we should Without do a little question. episode and go. We got, we got to do a Sfidia del Cannoli search. Arancini's too. After maybe that and then dessert. The, and again, they uh, they've been in business seventy years, I believe. La Florentina's yeah. been in business seventy, 70 years, Mayor Sarno. I had no idea. Yeah, seventy years. You know, that's one of the things, and you had touched upon it. Italian Americans are extremely hard workers. Many of yeah. uh, many of our, you know my 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 Nunu who came over didn't have a very good education. He was a roofer. Um, they worked hard. They worked hard. They worked hard. They worked, they worked hard because they wanted. For their family, especially the young, uh, their kids, to do better. Yes. And they'd always want them, again, go to school, go to school. And if you look at the uh, uh, the Bonfiglio family, the Caputo family, I know we're going to talk about yes. Red Rose. That's another mainstay for me. You can't yes. bring up Springfield Pizza uh, without talking about Red Rose. And uh, uh, they all went to school. Some of them decided to stay in the business uh, on it. But... Uh, you had to go to school, but Red Rose and the Caputo, another one, Mrs. Caputo, Mr. Caputo, God rest his soul, they all grew up together in Brasiliano. Yes. So my mom was, and Mrs. Caputo, tell they're Kumas, they were good friends there. And I remember their original place. The they one were, that was, it only had like eight booths. It was a hole, there was a hole in the wall. Yes. On Main Street, on the corner of Howard Street, and it was uh, near the Palm Cafe. Those That's kids, right. those kids literally grew up. By the pizza oven. Yes. And now they've established one of the iconic places, not only yes. in Springfield. And, and any time we're down, if I'm down at an event at MGM, um, many times we'll have our dinner or pizza. We'll have dinner there with uh, 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 Reed and Tony. And then my staff, I know Billy Baker's here right now. We constantly, you know, during the day, they'll get, uh, you know, they'll get pizzas and stuff from there. So a Red Rose is a... Been iconic, and again, another hard-working family. Yes, and now they've established. I mean, you try to get in there when we have events going on. <laughs> Tell me, forget about it. it. Forget the about T-Birds. It. You got to get here like two o'clock. GM or Mass Mutual has big events uh, going on, and they're always they're always packed there. So, and they also make. You talked about bread. They also make their own bread. Mm, great, great yes. bread. And uh, uh, and I remember, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Caputo, and Mr. Caputo Gavras, They'd still, they'd still be in there, even in their, in their older yes, years. Yes, yes, they were. And, and, and still uh, being involved Proud. And, and wanting to see the customers. Customer service, uh, uh, both places, when you're saying uh, family pizza or Red Rose, a uh, familia, they make you a great quality food, family style, and they make you feel welcome. Yes, yes they, they do. They make you feel welcome. And in the, in the food business, as you know, Lisa and uh, Chris, you have to have family involved. Yes. If you don't have family involved, things go a little sideways things, sometimes. Things go sideways. Huh? You know, the other thing about Red Rose, we just got to. You can't mention Red Rose pizza and bread without their house salad. Oh my God! God, that then, salad. Yes. You. That's you know. You go down there, and sometimes you're just in a mood to have pizza, the house salad, and and, and the bread. And the bread. That's and my wife every week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I may require that weekly. Yes. And then you know, again, with your family, you get in the mood to, and, and again, families. Is, is our cheers. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, and, uh, and I know we have some other places too. You know, we, we actually, we're going to be tasting pizza today from a bunch of places. We've got Antonio's on Long yep. Hill Street. The I Petrano mean, the, family. The Petr- yes. yes, the Petrano the family. Uh, we have, of course, we've got Indian Orchard Pizza being the Ferrera represented. Ferrera family, Kumata Ferrera. That's a dear, dear friend of my mom and dad. And uh, they make a great pizza out there. She also does the little pizza 
bread, the, the little rolls she'll oh, do. Oh, really? And she'll put a little pepperoni. It, 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 I, I'd like that. It's that excellent. sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, with the Vetranos, uh, and cousins uh, uh, Claire and Greg Vetrano, and of course the patriarch, Sammy Vetrano, who's, who's yes. still down there. Yes. And, and they have uh, uh, their style of pizza, and they make, what's it called? This granny, I like to get the... Uh, it's called the uh, uh, Philly chicken. A Philly yeah, chicken. the Philly chicken. Yeah, the Philly chicken. I love that. That's a great. That sandwich. is a great. Sandwich. Very, very, very good. Very, and we call them good. grinders here in Springfield. Yeah. They're not heroes. They're not yeah. subs. Sounds they're not like hoagies. Right. They're grinders. grinders. But I mean, when you told me, uh, Chris and Lisa, that Western Massachusetts, let's say specifically Springfield, yes. was not representing in the twenty-six type things, I could not. Believe it. I know there's a lot of you know they talk about New Haven with the yep. the, the, the famous. And they have great pizza, pizza too, shit, but. I beats. I, I, for Springfield, not to be, again, maybe I'm being a, 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 a you know. A we're a little biased here. here. We're a little no, biased. Well, we're, we're very passionate about Springfield, that. For Springfield, not to be in somewhat of those categories. I find it hard to believe. And, uh, I agree with I'm you. I'm glad you're doing this. These we, when we looked it up, Altoona, Pennsylvania has a regional El- pizza style with a, with with a piece American, of American cheese, cheese on it. it. And, and, and our pizza is not on there. It was like, you got to be kidding me. And, you know, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to go out on a limb. Do you, I believe that Springfield, Massachusetts is the birthplace of the family style or party style oval-shaped pizza. I, that I don't know for a fact. I've heard some things about okay. that, so I'm, I'm not I'm, sure. I'm willing to start the rumor. And then I know you had, you said... You tried to, I can't remember, what was the first pizzeria in Springfield? Yes, that, what was the first that, pizzeria that, in Springfield? That I cannot tell you. So the, comment well, below if comment anyone below. knows so, what, um, what the yeah. name is. My cousin uh, Mark Falbo told me that uh, Lito's was the first, they were the first oh, people to make pizza. Arduin, let me tell you. In Springfield. Right in the paper bag. He, he and made, it came in the paper bag, that's and, right. And uh, uh, Joanne and Frankie Ayanako, my goodness, the bread that he did out of the out of the back of uh, yes. Lito's there. They had that little side door that you go in and in pick it up. There, and then uh, that was a, a great pizza that was made there, and Frankie and... That was and Joanne continued, they were a little further up the road on, on Worthington Street. The Primos. The Primos. Excellent job, excellent they job. They had the there. biggest party size pizza in Springfield excellent. until they closed. Great, another great, again, very, very close family family ties there. I love the Lido story. My dad lived on Pearl Street for a while, yeah. and on Friday nights we'd walk yeah. over and uh, it, we'd pick up the pizza, and the guy would always call my dad Chooch. Chooch. <laughs> well, Chooch and it could be a good, it could hard be good worker, or bad, hard right? Worker, right. <laughs> the we Lido's, would... I always remember Lido. That was true family style down there. I used oh, to yeah. I miss Lido. I miss do my, when, I had the old, when I had my old South End Community Center, many of our banquets which would be held when we did the golf tournament to raise kids to support the uh, the youth in the South End area at Lido's family style, and you had that uh, the cold cold salad with the peppers in it. They had the yes. best salad and the salad dressing, and then they had the chicken cacciatore. Everything was oh. chicken cacciatore, sausage, and and the peppers. And one thing I always remember, I never liked it when I was kid. They had spumoni ice cream. Okay, but yeah. what you ice cream? And you didn't and like I, it when you were a kid. You wanted no, regular, but I. But uh, uh, when it was there, but Lido, and again, that was another family orient. That's another restaurant that that's missed. It was family style, absolutely family style. Yes, and. Uh, so that you brought back some great, great memories there. We love Springfield food history. Yeah. We believe we have some great food. My yeah. dad moved away to Cape Cod. They got horrible food. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, Springfield, it's our water. It's, it's our culture. It's yeah. everything that we bring to the table. And we love to celebrate it. I yeah. mean, at one of our first dates, uh, Lisa and I went to Silvano's, and she killed I a remember, whole meatball blue plate. I, I remember Silvano's. And it, yeah. was ju- it, was my, it was my new news favorite had, place. Uh, the Silvano's had the dumbwaiter, too. Did they have the yeah, dumbwaiter? Yeah, no, yeah. yeah I just dumb. remember you walked through the kitchen with the ladies cooking, yeah. and there was all the... Uh, uh, you know, do all of the uh, roosters around. It was like sitting in a living room. Yeah, you were in a, somebody's living room practically. Yeah. Great place. Yeah. Probably couldn't open a restaurant and like that. And you had day. up in the, you're talking about the old school uh, Mama Nardi's up in Paint. Uh, and and they, the okay. place be down, they'd be down in the basement. Happy time. And that's Al, that's, uh, Al Nardi, a great architect, and he's one of my historic commission too. Great. So, I mean, you got me going. Come on, Mama Nardi. So if I could go back in time, I would go to the second floor to, what was it called, Happy Time? I was Mama yeah. Nardi's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and they had the oil lamps and yeah. the linen, and you'd have pizza on a Friday or a Saturday. Friday yeah. night was pizza night in yeah. Springfield. And it was just, oh, if I could go back in time, that would be one of my pizza yeah, so spots. These are, but, uh, but today you have, I'll tell you, the, the four that you have are, are very, very good. Family pizza. Red Rose, uh, Indian Orchard Pizzeria, Antonio's, you cannot go wrong here in Springfield, Massachusetts, uh, and, and I'm very familiar with, uh, with all of them. And I really, again, appreciate oh, please. We're that, happy that to you're do able it. to do this to promote not only the city of Springfield, forget about me, but promote these places yes. that, 
are truly been around. They for believe many, in Springfield. Many, many, a lot many of these restaurant owners. Yeah. I mean, I know Marie from Antonio. She's a Springfield girl yeah. through and through. Yeah. And she wanted to be a part of this so just because it's promoting Springfield, you know, and 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 you of course and as well. Sa- the, the the patriarch Sammy Vetrano. Uh, if you go in there, some years ago, you'd go in there. If something was being done or constructed, he'd always use that line. Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> <laughs> he, is a, he, is, he is an icon. Yeah. I mean, he right from Ray's Grinders all the way Ray's through. Well, his brother, his brother uh, uh, Tony, got rest his soul. and He was a dear, dear friend of my, my father. And uh, they had, at one time, they had uh, on uh, Long Hill Street, obviously on State Street, Bay Street. Yes. Uh, and I think it's in Boston Road on it. And it was so. And then he had Napoli Pizza, which was the LaQuarrie's. Mr. LaQuarrie, Tony LaQuarrie. So you had Tony Pizza and Tony Grinder. That was their nickname. Okay, Tony Pizza and Tony, Tony Grinder. <laughs> yeah, boy, you're getting, now you're really getting me. Come going. on, this is fun talk. You yeah. know, I, we, we really want to invite you to come to Springfield. You know, we're going to get into, we're going to start eating some pizza soon. Yeah. But Springfield does have a very specific style. And, and I think yeah. I want to even go out on a limb with you, Mayor Sarno. Because we come from Baker's, I believe, and all of these pizzerias make their own bread, our pizza is a little thicker than maybe the New Haven of Eats. Yeah. And, and it, it is a bit of a, of a yeah. bread style crust. Yeah. And uh, not, not quite Sicilian. It's like in between. What no, you no, this is, as you're right. The Sicilian is, is um, I know my cousin Patsy Izzo used to make it with Italy's best and his pizza, pizzerias he had. The Sicilian was almost like bread. Like it was thick crust. Very, very tasty. Very, very filling. But this is, uh, uh, and I like my pizza well well done, but it's, it's uh, they do it the right way here. Yes. But so I know some of the other pizzas you go around in, you know, New York and uh, other, you know, they... They fold. It. You got to fold it's it. Very, right. Then I, I'm not. I'm, again, people like those types of styles or whatever. But I, I just think, uh, uh, again, uh, I might be parochial here. I just think we have uh, probably uh, we should be in that category. We, we have outstanding pizza, and I think people would try it. Uh, that they, they'd love it. And plus, when they go to these establishments. Red Rose and family are more sit down establishments. Yes. So that you can go. It's there. not like a takeout. Right. Uh, Antonio's has some seating also too. Indian Orchard uh, up on Main Street. Indian Orchard is more, more, it's more t- of a takeout. More okay. of a takeout. You had mentioned um, the way the pizzas are sliced, and that folks do prefer. A lot of folks will prefer the triangle slice. And here, because we are, as we I say, like, we are the home of the like um, the, the oval pizza. I like the square cut. Square you get cut. the square, square cut, cut, or as, or as not, some picky not, people not would call it, box square pants. Box cut. The square <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> that's bo- what do you say? Not bo- SpongeBob Square. square pan- we're trying to get the younger viewers here. <laughs> that's to tell right. Their family members to go yes. to Family Pizza, Red Rose, Indian Orchard Pizzeria, and Antonio. So that's for the young audience that's watching right now. <laughs> we do. They they uh, people make fun of us because we have square slices. No, I like the square and slices. It, to us, if it, if it goes wrong in the middle, it goes wrong everywhere you else. Can so tell that a middle lot. slice matters. It really yeah. does. Uh, and, and that's one of the things that's fun about our, our town is that it's a different pizza experience. Yeah. And what we're hoping as a result of this show is that maybe folks come and take a ride. You know, th- we've got a great rail system. CT rail comes that's up right. and down. Right. Um, we've got uh, easy access through Peter Pan if you don't have your own vehicle. That's we actually, right. Lisa and I are working on a little Springfield pizza trail that we're going to be able to send to people. So they can literally, like, put it in their GPS and just take them right up here, tell them what to order, where to park, and keep on going. They could spend a whole day or maybe a couple days here. I thought you were going to be dropping pepperonis on the <laughs> 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 People will, will, will follow that. Hey, that's, a, that's also a pretty good idea. Yeah. We can see what we can do for that. Our first bit of lunch has arrived today. We have our first delivery. It looks to be a delicious combo pizza. Is combo what you like to order, Mayor? Yeah, I like combo, and I, I can tell this one already because of the, the aroma with the peppers. This has got to be Kumata Ferrara uh, in Indian Orchard Pizzeria. And, and Holy to, cow. And the Kumata Ferrara and to Joe, congratulations, 60 years in business. And she looks great. She's about 80-something 80, 80 years old, and she's still making pizza there. But I could sm- when it came in, I said right off the bat. You knew could, it right I away? I knew right away. I could smell the peppers, and it's beautiful uh, texture here. It's pepperoni, hamburg, uh, and uh, peppers on it. So we're going to dive right Let's in. Let's dig in. Let's dig right. in. Okay. I mean, I, I absolutely love Lady, like- Ladies first. Oh, oh thank you, look Mayor at that. Sarno. Ladies first. You know, I, I love how you brought up that they've been in business for 60 years, and Joe's mother, Kumata, is still in the shop making pizza Kumata every day. For us. She's still making pizza. God bless you, and we're oh. so happy to hear that and story. She that, and she makes that type of bread, too. Okay. Uh, and it's so, so tasty. So, oh. let me have a little bite of this. All right. Here we go, Mayor this, Sarno. Okay. 
Mm. Tanta sabari. That means delicious in Italian. That's delicious. This is delicious. Wow, the bottom I has you said a this great was water. This is vodka. No, no, I'm just. Kidding. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I wasn't here. That was mine. <laughs> so isn't this? Isn't this? And the peppers. The peppers is what really makes this. Look at the bo- look at the bottom. Yeah, <coughs> excellent. No the flop on Kumara that. Kumara Ferrara and Joe. Tanta grazia. <coughs> delicious. Sabori. This is delicious right mm. now. You know what? I never had this pizza. In the Norcia Pizzeria. I never had it. Main Street in New York. I think it's four, the 400 block, right ac- almost across from the strip mall over there. Okay. In New York. It has a beautiful golden crust. Yeah. It's a real crispy crust, too. It has a nice crisp yeah. to it, and then once you bite through it, the bread softness is there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is very good. And, of course, when you're from, if you're from coming to Springfield, you got to get a combo. Springfield yeah. is a combo pizza combo. place. You know what I mean? This is, I like to judge a place by the combo and the, and the cheese. Yeah. This is very good. Mm. All right, I'm already having fun, and I was getting hungry, man. See all the film crew and stuff, and my Billy Baker, my communications director, soon to be chief of staff, they're all licking their chops over there. You're going to have some of this. Absolutely. Stuff. Crew, okay. crew, crew, eat second. Okay. In fact, uh, our producer to our other show, Graves and Talking Graves and Podcast, is picking up the other pizzas. And uh, usually he's a producer, but he got demoted to uh, craft services on this yeah, shoot. And I know <laughs> Sway and George are all out there, but it's just, this is very, very good. And she, again, she makes the, uh, they're like little, Roll circular, I don't know, and with just a little bit of meat, so little, put a little pepperoni, little bits of it. It's so it is so tasty. This is a tasty pizza. I mean, their combo looks like it's pepperoni, hamburg, and peppers. There's uh, yeah. it looks like no mushrooms, no onions. The yeah. the the sauce is delicious. The yeah. cheese is delicious. Um, I like a combo pizza, and really, you said you like it well done, and I think this was a lightly well done for yeah. you. Well, yeah. Probably Joe probably knows that for yeah. you, right? He Excellent. knows. Excellent. We want to thank uh, Indian Orchard Pizza for participating in this show today. Thank you so much for your generosity. Salute. Providing the pizza. Absolutely delicious pizza. You guys, you have to go visit Indian Orchard Pizza in Springfield, Mass. Get the combo and uh, make sure you congratulate them on 60 years of pizza in town. So uh, I know we have some other pizzas coming in soon, and we have to be careful, Mayor. I know you want to just keep eating slices, but I have yeah. to stop you because we, you've got to eat a I'm lot of pizza give some today. Of the Chris Marion, the ace uh, award-winning photographer. Oh there. my God, we got Chris Marion's. You know what? Everybody. Well, you know what it is, Mayor. Is, is I told him there's free pizza. <laughs> and, you know, free pizza brings everyone, people. You know, everybody pizza brings comes everyone around. together. So, pizza promotion from the NBA to pizza promotion here with Chris it's, and Lisa. It, it's a real Springfield show today. Yeah. All right, next up. We have our second delivery. I can tell what it is already, Lisa, because of the crust. This has got to be the iconic uh, red rose. I'll tell you what would go very well right now. A bicchiere vino, a mm. little glass of Merlot. But uh, I could go I, for a little glass of Chianti. Uh, the ma- the mayor has a request. <laughs> Crew, we're going to look for a little, <laughs> little wine. That was somebody that waved at me with all five fingers. I appreciate that. Uh, that doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> Poor mayor. We get ma- some odd waves mom, in here, too. My mom, Clara Sarnu, said to me, God rest your soul. Oh, everybody loves you, Dom. And I say, Mom, not everybody waves at me with all five fingers because you got to make this. <laughs> oh, so geez. I can tell by the crust. Uh, I believe this is... Uh, Red Rose, and again, nothing's getting past you today, man. Yes, this is a mayor who knows his city and knows knows his pizza. pizza. And uh, Rita and Tony do such a great job there. So, Lisa, let's dig in. Dig in. And this one has this looks nice. This one has mushrooms. I like like mushrooms uh, uh, also. Sometimes, and you can oh, you can yeah. This is about the crust. You can tell by the crust. This is Red Rose. So, Red. yeah, I, we actually went to Red Rose, just as you described earlier. Lisa and I went, I think, a couple of weeks ago for lunch, and we bumped into Rita, and we told her about the show, and she goes, this is what Mayor Sarno orders when he comes here, the mushroom combo. So we had to, we had to make sure we had your favorite My Red Rose. My wife, Carla, loves the mushrooms, so she loves the mushrooms. Mm. Very tasty. You have me out of my comfort zone because um, most of our fans know that I am not a mushroom fan, but I've, I've got my big girl pants on today for you, Mayor Sarno, and I'm eating the mushrooms. You're doing my, well already. My wife, Carla, loves having a mushrooms on it. This is very... This is excellent. excellent. This is really good. Sabri, delicious. Here's the bottom. It's nice and saucy. It does have a great sauce flavor, Lisa. You know I'm saucy. I love a lot and of sauce cr- on a the, pizza. The crust. Again, they, make their, they still make their bread there, which mm. is excellent. And as you said, sometimes you got great quality family style food there. But sometimes you're in the mood to have a great combination pizza, a family salad, which is unbelievable, and their bread. 
Yes. And maybe a couple of glasses of wine. And, and people uh, wonder, like, you know, that's how you know you're eating with an Italian because yeah. they're going to eat a bunch of bread before they eat pizza. Yeah. Because <laughs> we got a problem with bread. I remember the first time I ever went in a Chinese restaurant when I was a kid. <laughs> I Get said, where's the bread? <laughs> They don't. They don't have Chinese. Uh, they don't. They don't understand bread like that. Fortune cookies. Oh my god! That comes at the end, right? That's so funny. Yeah. No, I'm a breadaholic. I have a problem with carbs. It's one of the reasons I love eating pizza. Mm. And this red rose pizza, it really hits home. I mean, this tastes a lot like Springfield. Um, just it's, it's outstanding, and it's fun because it's right downtown in the neighborhood. And and in that neighborhood, um, borderline South End. Yeah, really, it's pretty much it's South really, End. It's really South End. Yeah, and and there's right a, next to MGM. Right next to MGM Springfield, you come yep. by, pop over, get a delicious pizza. Yep. And then of course was it the Hollywood section that they used to call it back in Richelieu and that yeah, whole that was area. Hollywood, and then we've turned that. The Hollywood section uh, was an exclusive area. It was post World War II, and a lot of honeymooners you had a waiting list. Yes. There. my uncle Alphonse and Auntie Francine Calvinis there and you had to wait a waiting list to get in there and then things changed uh during the late 60s and 70s but under my administration we brought it back it's outing park now gordon outing park. has done great job we uh we a new south end community center my old one's built over there emerson white's been done we open up the roadway areas and uh, the housing there is very very good and the camera system it, it, so it's a complete Complete turnaround. You know, that was Tony Rivosa's old milk route, if I'm not mistaken. Tony Rivosa, my father would always say, um, uh, this is Tony's father, hard, hard worker. Before he went to school, he would be on the milk route, yep. delivering milk before he went to school. Before he went to school. So he was always a hard worker. He was a restaurateur, too. It had a number of restaurants, yes. too. You know, I, I'm really enjoying our conversation with you today, Mayor Sarno, really talking about Springfield history, bringing up a lot of legends of Springfield. You know, it's important that we don't forget where Billy, we came from. Billy, get the wine, will you? Yeah, that's so what we need, a little bit of wine. Mayor Sarno, would you believe that someone, um, someone of reputable, uh, we'll say fame in the pizza world came to Springfield, they actually went to Red Rose, tried a Red Rose pizza, oh, yeah, yeah. and they thought it was weird, yeah. and they only rated it at a seven. I remember that. We're, I think we're still slightly offended by that. Yeah. Um, was I the inspiration mean, to the show. Yeah, that look was one of the inspirations to us look wanting to do the show. Look at that crust. Come on. Come to Springfield. Go to Red Rose. You're going to be happy. You're going to walk out full, and you're going to want to come back because it is a family experience. And that's what pizza's about. It's about bringing people together. You've got problems. I've got problems. We don't want to hear about them. Let's we eat wanna, pizza. We want to eat some pizza, right? And that's what it's all about. I think you, uh, Lisa and Chris, hit it right in the head. When you have pizza... It brings everybody together. Our familia, you know, you you can have a few laughs, and God knows, we need more levity and more laughs in our yes, lives now. Yes, we do. With, there's plenty more good than there is bad, but again, a lot of times the media and negativity gets highlighted. But we're a positive yeah. show. You know, we yeah. want to make people feel welcome. We want to, you know, a lot of we get a lot of letters, uh, Mayor Sarno. A lot of elderly folks watch us on cable because, of course, we're on cable from Springfield to Northampton, welcoming everybody from Focus Springfield, um, and a lot of folks eat alone. Uh, my yeah. mom sometimes lives alone, and she, she eats alone. And I think she watches us. Watch, she doesn't have to eat alone. A, we'll great, a great makeup artist. We, She's fantastic. Thank you, Mom. You're on set today, and yeah. we appreciate you, Valerie. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we can't keep eating Red Rose because okay. we still have Look at this two crust. more pizzas. We have Quando two more Bell. pizzas. Look at this crust. Okay, two more. All right, let's go. All right. Okay, this is family. Thank you. And again, okay. to Janad, oh. the, the patriarch of... Um, the patriarch of family pizza and to his, his uh, uh, wife, God rest his soul, uh, Yolanda, who uh, uh dear, dear friend of my mom's, again, all from Brigliano, Ralphie, and uh, little Yolanda done a great job. This uh, family is our cheers. Yes. Uh, we're, we're there uh, many, many times, especially on Friday nights and, and takeout. But I knew as soon as I saw the, uh, the onion, and you could see, uh, well done, you know. I like Every well pizza is well done. done. They, yes. know, they, they know. Knew. They know. They Mayor know. Sarno. Good job, Springfield yeah. Pizzeria. Family, you know, Family Pizzeria Europa, uh, Upper Sumner Avenue. For people that uh, nostalgia was, it's across from the old where the old Bing Theater is, just before Sumner Avenue and White Street. You can't go wrong there, and they, they truly live up to the reputation of a familia family. Uh, there and you, just a great, great time. They're, that sit down to restaurant there, but known for their uh, their pizza. And again, Janad started off with a little corner hole, yeah, on the corner of Lansing Place and uh, Dickinson Street with a little bakery. He made the bread there, 
excellent. And uh, now they're John the De Caesar family. Johnny De Caesar's there. The uh, uh, the auto body uh, is there. And uh, I think I already said the story, but I just remember as a kid. Getting the bread. Two loaves of bread. Because <laughs> walking back up Dickinson Street, I'd eat half the uh, loaf of bread there. Is so. there anything better than the smell of fresh Break, baked Nothing. Italian bread. And we're, I, I know, you know, this is something not in the script, but I just want to bring up. Are we the home of star bread, Mayor? I'll tell you, you had, we had about nine bread shops in the city of Springfield. And in the old South End, the old times would tell me the aroma you would smell on Main Street or mm-hmm. East Columbus Avenue, all the breads. And uh, that smells like I heaven. Can, I can go, yeah. go on and on and that. But, uh, oh. So. Yeah, this is yeah. This so is family does the sliced sausage, and I'm a huge That's fan of sliced sausage. That's what I spotted sausage. right yeah, away. I love the sliced sausage because it takes a little extra work, right? You got to do the sauce, you got to cook it, then you got to slice it nice, and it's got to be super thin. It's got to be super thin. So let's take a bite. Mm. Sweet sauce, excellent, delicious. Motto, that's beautiful. Nice and they're sweet b- they've been in business for just celebrated fifty years. Fifty years in business. Fifty years. That's right. Unbelievable combo. You know what? I'm glad we got the onions because we, we didn't tell them. We just, just ordered combo. Sometimes you need a little sweet onion in there. It kind of yeah. sweetens up everything. And uh, with the meat, with the sausage and onions, I mean, come on. It's perfect. Yeah. It's excellent. Sometimes I find an onion can make it a little bit wet, but this, it's, it's holding its own here. This is absolutely so, delicious. We've got no flop. Three Wonderful. places already. Come on. How you, are you still you got room? You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Indian Orchard Pizzeria, Kamada Ferrer, Joe. Up in the main street in the orchard. I think it's around the 400 block across from the strip mall area. And you can't go wrong with family pizza. Upper Sumner Avenue uh, in the 700 block. Corner of Whittier. Before, yeah, corner of Whittier Street. Very good. That's our cheers. Uh, we go way back. And, of course, the iconic Red Rose right next to MGM. You cannot go uh, wrong there. And uh, these are all people that are grown up in this business. They worked very, very hard. They're now, all over 50 years, right? Pretty much every pizza place that's represented today is yes. over 50 years in business. As a matter of fact, Ralphie's father, Mr. Carano, he's a very good baker, too, pastry. He makes a, we just, St. Joseph's Day was the other day. Mm-hmm. He makes great zeppelas. Uh, zeppola, he makes great zeppolas on it, So, But this is family, and to uh, uh, Ralphie and to little Yolanda, Sabri, Danda grazie. Unbelievable. Very we want to thank everyone at Family Pizza Europa for participating in this. Janad, you look good and you smell good. <laughs> Since you said the cologne yeah. and the aftershave yeah. comes yeah. through. It's an Italian thing. I, I can celebrate that. Really having a lot of fun. And we hope that you all are enjoying watching yeah. all of this. And if you are, make sure you go ahead and follow New England Pizza Fanatics on YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Really good. Go ahead. Mayor Sarno has an Instagram page. We'll put that up uh, on the screen Follow as well. Follow the mayor. Follow the mayor, right? Follow the city of Springfield. We have a lot of exciting things happening downtown. We want to get new people downtown to enjoy Springfield, enjoy the pizza. And we have a lot of fun resources. We can walk right up here. It's not just the casino. You can go up to the, right. the Quadrangle, world-class museums yes. here in Springfield. Yes. We have a lot to offer. And we're hoping that as a result of folks watching this show all over, maybe some new folks coming. You know what? Billy, they can follow me on my etch sketch right? No, no, that's not. <laughs> oh, what is it? Tic-tac-toe. No, yes, tic-tac-toe. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, man, we're having a great time. So and family pizza. Family pizza. Just a, just a huge wit. So I think we, we got one more to one go, more. and I know you have a tight schedule, so we got to keep yep. you eating pizza before you have to leave us. <laughs> What's the most pizza you've eaten in one sitting before, Mayor? How many slices have you gone in, like, your... When you were really going pizza crazy. Okay. This, Are you a double-digit eater? This uh, size pizza, if I'm really hungry... I could probably polish off half of half it. of that pizza. Okay. Yeah. All right. You and hey, I are mean, friends. That's, that's a solid. Good, you're in good slices. company. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Next. Hey, look at this for the magic of video production. Okay. We have. So this is the very last pizza. Oh, I can tell already. Wow. Thinner, thinner crust. This is Antonio's. What Antonio's. color? That thing looks like yep. the Italian flag. And yeah. He's got the peppers again. That that uh, Philly. That's beautiful. That there Philly. That Philly chicken that they make. But Darling. this is from the patriarch. Thank you. Sammy Vetrano. As a matter of fact, his grandson, Frank Vetrano, is having a hell of a year in the NHL. Isn't he? Yes. All-star, Anaheim. And, uh, and I know the Rangers are looking to get him back for the playoff run, too, but he's happy there leading the, some of the younger guys. He'll pro- he's got a chance to score 40 goals. Unbelievable. Great family. That's my cousin Clara's uh, and Greg's uh, son. And uh, just a good young man, great hockey. And he scored two goals in the uh, NHL all-star game. So, but this is from Antonio's. 
we talked about the history, the lineage there. They've been open for many, many years, too. And the patriarch, Sammy of Toronto, and his family's uh, involved. But I could tell already, because of the thin crust, I could tell. So Lisa, And it's Mayer, nice and sorry. well done yeah. as well. Let me just take a quick shot. And Antonio's, two spots for you. You can go right on Long Hill Street, the bottom of Long Hill Street. You can't miss it there. They have seating capacity there. And then my cousin Greg and Clara are on uh, State Street, right across from AIC, right across from AIC. And uh, I think they still might have some seating capacity. I, I think they with, do, yeah. With the pandemic, they had gone uh, all drive through. So Antonio's, can't go wrong there. Bottom of Long Hill Street, right after you get off the highway or you're coming through Forest Park. And uh, State Street, right across from American International College. Uh, Antonio's is right up there, Greg and Claire will take good care of right, like, so, I think I'm going for a big one over here, so, but <laughs> sorry to all right, let me manhandle see. the pizza. Oh, geez, this is a big slice. Yeah, that, I, I left that one for you, Mayor Sarno. Look at, <laughs> and I like, thin cr- and look at how well the, the peppers. Look at that. And the peppers. I love, I love peppers. Love peppers. That looks like a beautiful slice a beautiful right there. Slice There's right not much there. flop uh, on that. Yeah. Mm, mm-mm. And and I, Antonio's is one of my favorites to go to get a nice slice of cheese. And that grinder, let me tell you, that chicken Philly. Or Philly chicken, whatever it's called. That's a, that's a great grinder they make there. You see it there? Mm. 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 Delicious. Mm. Such distinctive flavors in each each pizza. Mm. I mean, each one. And good for you, Mayor Sarno, for being able to identify it by the aroma. I'm quite impressed. You are a bit of a pizza fanatic. He's a pizza fanatic. Mm. You know, I, one of the things I was going to mention, Lisa, is I love having Mayor Sarno on the show because he has such great information and he keeps talking so we can eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been able to eat more pizza on this show than usual because Mayor's filling it in. So, no, this is a- Antonio's is a fun place. You know what I like about it, Mayor Sarno, is they have the pizza garden in the summer. And I like to sit out on the deck out there and relax. That's and right. it's just, it's, it's a fun feeling. I've sat, Lisa and I have sat out many a summer nights on the, at the pizza garden with our daughter, Luciana, having pizza. It's just a fun place. And it's one of the things that I know, like in Brooklyn, they've got the L&B Spumani Pizza Garden. And uh, we'll have to bring some people to eat it up at Antonio's. Yeah. They were out, they had the outdoor dining well before the... Um, COVID pandemic, work-wide pandemic forced that. We're doing a lot of outdoor dining that we've supported here in the city of Springfield. But um, mm. these four places, and I cannot thank Chris and Lisa DeMora enough. When they told me, would you come on and would you support uh, this endeavor? I said, yes. Um, I, when they told me that we weren't even in any of the 26 categories, uh, I was astonished. And... Uh, Thank them for what they're doing to promote it. Today, four places you can't go wrong and know them very, very well. Again, Family Pizza on uh, 700 block of Sumner Avenue, 50 years in business. That's our cheers, especially on Friday night, the Bonfiglio family uh, in the orchard, Kumata Ferrer and Joe, son Joe, 60 years in business. Main Street in the orchard, 400 block. A little further up is the strip mall. Antonio's. Right down the road, Long Hill Street, and uh, that's the the patriarch is there, Sammy Vitron. Sammy's got he still looks good. He's got to be ninety something years old. He's unbelievable. We interviewed him back in was it uh, yeah. May? May. And we had a nice interview with yeah. Sammy, and, and he told and us some history. Great cousin stories. Greg, uh, cousin Claire and Greg Vitrano are up on State Street across from uh, AIC, and then the iconic Red Rose uh, with Rita and Tony Caputo uh, down next to MGM. Uh, you, you just you can't you just can't go wrong. This is uh, excellent May- quality pizza. Mayor Sarno, from the bottom of our heart, Lisa and I want to thank you for your generosity you. and your time today. We know you're an extremely busy person. You know, I just want to really quick before we jump out of here. When you your very first term in mayor, your first week, I was having lunch, and I watched you walk down this street right here, and there was a there was a brick out of place, and you stopped and you put the brick back in place, and I'll never forget that. And I said, this is a guy yeah. who cares about everything because that's part of the Italian heritage, right? Things you care about everything. Yeah. The very first thing is having a clean joint, and right. if your joint ain't clean, no one's gonna go there. Right. And you keep a clean joint here in Springfield, and we appreciate that, Mayor. We appreciate you bringing your passion for not only pizza but all of the constituents and the residents of this city and the Commonwealth here in Massachusetts. You, really, you are the world, I'm going to say yeah, the world's yeah. best mayor. You're too kind. But he said it the way I wrote it, though. <laughs> Listen, we don't have a bicchiere of vin, a glass of wine to toast soap. Next Let's time. take a piece of pizza, and we're going to say, a salute. 
Celebrate it. Springfield Pizza. These four pizzerias and restaurants you cannot go wrong. Antonio's, Family Pizza, Indian Orchard Pizza, and Red Rose. To everyone out there that's watching, we're in the holiday season. Bona Bosqua, happy Easter, good health, continued success. And keep tuning in to watch Chris and Lisa tomorrow talk about the great pizza because they're a pizza fanatics. Oh, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Sarno. To everybody, God bless. Chin down and ciao. This bite's for you. Mm.